Since man first walked the earth, the use of granite has been a constant. Formed over millions of years, granite is the most abundant natural stone in the world. Throughout recorded history, it's been one of the world's most popular stone building products because it's extremely durable, beautiful, safe, and works well both indoors and out. Millions of consumers around the globe safely enjoy the distinctive beauty of granite in their homes. Not that long ago, granite was considered too costly for many residential applications, but advances in quarrying technology have made granite highly competitive with virtually all other surface materials for the home. And because of the increase in consumer demand, a growing variety of granite types have become available in the United States. The strong demand for granite among American consumers has spurred entrepreneurs to create a synthetic stone material. Several years ago, these companies began marketing their synthetic products under a number of different brand names. Despite repeated efforts, manufacturers of synthetic stone products have been unable to match granite's popularity among American consumers. This has frustrated some of these manufacturers, and as a result, they launched misleading campaigns to discredit granite, the world's oldest building material, and frighten consumers into considering their own look-alike products. Fueled by the latest campaign launched by synthetic stone manufacturers, recent media reports have called into question the safety of granite. This has created needless confusion among consumers who are now concerned about installing granite countertops in their kitchens or worried about the countertops they already have in their homes. At the heart of the safety issue is whether granite poses a health threat to consumers from radon or radiation. Though some media reports refer to them interchangeably, radon and radiation are very different. Radon is a naturally occurring gas found throughout our environment. It is commonly found in the basements of homes built in the Midwestern and Eastern regions of the U.S. According to the EPA, the primary source of radon, by far, in any home is the soil surrounding the structure. Radon should not be confused with radiation, which refers to particles emitted by radioactive substances, the most common of which, by a wide margin, is the sun. Shocked by the recent media reports questioning the safety of granite, respected scientists and research organizations from throughout the nation have questioned the so-called science upon which the media stories were based and have come to the defense of granite. One of the first was Dr. John McCarthy, president of Environmental Health and Engineering near Boston, who has overseen more than 2,500 indoor environmental quality assessments. When asked whether granite is safe to put in homes, his response was straightforward. Even the highest radon emissions from granite are below U.S. EPA guidelines. All the data that we've seen to this point certainly indicates that there's not a problem. Uh, we've looked at the scientific literature uh, that's uh, available. Uh, we've done modeling. We've looked at the concentrations that will be generated from that and we find that there's no excess risk. Dr. McCarthy points out that we are exposed to various forms of radiation every day. We have radiation in our bodies uh, and, uh, and, our, and there's radiation in our food. And I think the, uh, the key thing is to re be able to put that into appropriate perspective. The scientist says that radiation is emitted by such wide-ranging products as drywall sheets, cinder blocks, bananas, Brazil nuts, and even potatoes. Compared to other sources, the level of radiation emitted by granite countertops is negligible. In order to uh, be exposed to that contribution from the uh, granite countertop, uh, an individual has to be in their home continuously, that's 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, for 72 years. David Ropeek is a consultant in risk communication, author of a book called Risk, and a former instructor at the Harvard University School of Public Health. Like Dr. McCarthy, Ropeek described the relationship between granite and radiation as a non-issue, and he described the relationship between granite and radon the same way. While acknowledging that consumers face a real risk of radon coming in from the soil beneath their homes, he says that perhaps the greatest risk consumers face from granite countertops is a slab of it falling on their toes as they install it. You can never rule anything out, but it's, it's as close to zero as you can hope to get about a risk in your life based on what I know. Cumulatively, we have a huge body of evidence to suggest that this particular risk from granite is negligible. We have a lot of scientific evidence that says that this is something that may sound scary, but scientifically really isn't. 
Following some sensational media reports on granite countertops and radon, the American Association of Radon Scientists and Technologists, experts in this field, issued a statement saying, while natural rocks such as granite may emit some radon gas, the subsequent levels of radon in the building that are attributable to such sources are not typically high. Soil, sand, and rock underneath the home are the primary sources of indoor radon gas. To put the radon issue in perspective, AirCheck, a company that specializes in radon detection devices, publishes this chart on its website, showing the typical sources of radon around the home. 69% comes from the soil around the house, 18.5% from well water, 9.2% from outdoor air, 2.5% from building materials, and a half percent from public water supplies. If your countertop emits a small amount of radon, it will generally be insignificant when diluted with the quantity of air in your home. AirCheck says you are hundreds of times more likely to be at risk from radon emanating from the soil beneath your home. That's why EPA recommends that every homeowner who has a concern have a radon test administered by a certified radon technician. Another organization speaking out on the granite safety issue is the Health Physics Society, a prestigious organization whose members specialize in radiation safety. In a special bulletin highly critical of recent media coverage on granite, the society, which has no ties to the stone industry, questioned the science and methodology behind the recent stories, calling the results odd. In its bulletin, it said that it isn't surprising that some types of granite emit varying levels of radiation. So do other items in the households. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has also weighed in on the issue of granite and radon. The EPA says construction materials such as concrete, cinder blocks, bricks, and granite contain small amounts of radioactive materials that are found naturally in the materials used to make them. While natural rocks such as granite may emit radon gas, the levels of radon attributable to such sources are not typically high. EPA believes the principal source of radon in homes is soil. Beyond creating needless confusion among consumers about the safety of granite, the recent campaign by synthetic stone manufacturers is unfairly threatening the granite industry and the hardworking men and women who make their livelihoods in it. From the shop workers who labor all day fabricating the residential and commercial projects made of granite, to the people who spend their days in showrooms and the installers putting the finishing touches on the job, each of these people is extremely proud of the industry in which they earn a living and of the beauty, durability, and safety of granite. Perhaps no one said it more eloquently than Jack Cedars of Austin, Texas, who has been in the stone business for more than three decades. Honestly, I wouldn't be selling a product that I thought was harmful. I don't think anybody else in this industry would be doing it. So that's the truth about granite. Even more popular today than ever, and a consumer favorite because it's durable, beautiful, and most importantly, safe for consumers in their homes.